Uh, I recently mentioned that I picked up four instruments off a friend of mine. Um, three of them were uh, used, so he didn't want them, and I've managed to pick them up. I'll, uh, I'll go through each one. Uh, three of them I can play, one of them I'm restoring at the moment. Uh, this is one of the used ones, um, which is made in Turkey. Um, they're all made in Turkey, actually. So these ones are made to Greek specifications. Uh, so they even put the holes on the sides, on the top. Um, very nice designed um, uh, fingerboard. So that's actually my tailpiece, which I, I replaced for for him. They're, they're the, uh, the tuners. Um, I think this is Mulberry, but anyway, it's a it's a very nice instrument. It's possibly the best one, best sound, maybe the second best sound. I've started playing that on some of my videos. This is another one, I think this is the same luthier that made the, the previous one. So again, made in Turkey with Greek specs. Um, that's a nice one. I think this is Mulberry, which is I think the, the previous one's Mulberry as well, apart from the white wood, which is probably pine. Um, so this is a Zill. Uh, these play a lot higher pitched and they do use different strings on them usually. Um, so these are quite popular. faster tunes. Um, this is quite a nice one actually, so I haven't really started playing this on my channel yet, but I, you might hear it. Um, so that's used, I picked that one up as well. The other one is another Zill, which you might have noticed in one of my other videos, is a black one. I just sanded this one because it had, a, had some glue stuck here, so I've sanded it back to um, bare wood just here, and I've just sanded the whole thing and this is getting ready for a paint job. I'll probably paint this matte black. I don't really like the gloss. The gloss shows up too many imperfections. Uh, so anyway, once I finish this, plays very similar to the previous one. I think it's the same Luthier. Um, and the last one is probably my favorite, which I leave this at my dad's house. <laughs> I, even though this is my favourite, this is not made by the same Luthier, but it is made in Turkey. Um, this is a, I asked him, asked my friend when he went to Turkey re recently, I said, bring me back a, a big gapan, as we call it in Greek. So it's very wide, very deep. And this is the, um, this is one he brought back. They don't add, even though it's, they've added the, the top holes, as they do with the Greek ones. He didn't put them here, but that's okay. I can add them, even though I don't think I need to, because this plays really nice. And they didn't add the side ones, which again, not a huge issue. Um, and this could be mulberry as well. It's like a yellowish type of wood. Um, very light, very, very deep, which is what I wanted. fast dance tunes to these, but um, these are particularly good for um, 
epitrapezia as they're called, songs that you sing around a table, slow songs. But anyway, that's the update. Four instruments I've picked up. This is brand new. Uh, it's very, very well made, I must admit. Made in um, Istanbul. Um, very smooth finish. Um, it's not glossed, which I don't like gloss. Uh, it's all matte finished. Beautiful. The, the pegs are very nice. Very well, well done. So... Um, and, and people have asked on the channel, people asking for instruments, and I've tried to direct people in the right place. Uh, I mean, I sell a few, um, but I, I, all I can say is at the moment, with the Turkish lira being so so poor, it's, uh, it's tanked, it's gone so low that you, you're better off buying an instrument from Turkey, especially with, you know, with Greeks in particular who prefer these t type of instruments. There's a number of Luthiers in Turkey who make really nice instruments at a fraction of the cost. Unfortunately, in Greece, some of the, some of the people online in particular are selling instruments at ridiculously high prices. I would avoid them unless you're a professional. Um, just go online, find find a Turkish luthier. Um, you'll get it at a at a fraction, probably a quarter of the price. And these are really nice instruments. I can't can't speak highly enough. But anyway, that's my update to my collection. I've got another seven. Um, if anybody needs an instrument, I mean, if, if I can help or I can direct you in the right direction, uh, let me know. Anyway, that's an update. See you later.